Okay. Hello, everyone. <clears throat> now, this is my first time ever posting a, a video on YouTube, but I've searched all over YouTube for different installation tips and guides on how to install an aftermarket stereo into a 2007 to 2013 Chevy Silverado. Now, this is a 2011, and I'm installing a Pioneer AVH271BT. It's just it's just a basic CD player that's got the rear view camera uh, function, Bluetooth, everything that I need to be able to um, use all my factory settings on the vehicle. And so I went out and purchased an RP5 GM31. Uh, this retains all of my factory settings, my steering wheel controls, my uh, supposed to retain OnStar, my backup camera, everything. But my backup camera is in the rearview mirror. And what I found out is that it comes with a cable for doing the rear view camera, but that cable is only good if the rear view camera is actually already in the dash. If your factory rear view camera shows up in the navigation system on the dash, then that cable will work. If not, it has to be hardwired into the vehicle, which does not exclude the video showing up in the rear view mirror. It just mirrors it. So you're tapping in. So you've got your, there's your two cables for the back of the stereo. And then this is your USB port that goes in to the back of the factory stereo. And then of course your antenna cable. I've tried to separate everything out it's kind of a mess right now but hopefully uh, hopefully you learn what you need in this video here is just an old RCA video jack that I took I clipped the end off and this is going into the back of my aftermarket stereo I had to hardwire this in in order to get the feed to hardwire it in that cable is down here on the left side. If you go up underneath here, I see you break down. And if you look, hopefully you guys can see this. But you look down here on this left side, there's a cable. There's a little connector right up in here. And it's got... On mine, it's a little bit different than some others, but on mine, it's got a white wire, a blue wire, and then a bare wire. And I tapped in using the blue and white wire. Now, your RCA jack has an insulated portion, and then it has a center inside of a plastic insulation. Your the outside wire on your RC jack goes to the blue wire and then the inside plastic part goes to the white wire and then you just plug that back into the back of the stereo on the back of the stereo you should see, see if I can get a hold of this you should see a little port right here that says RCN that's your rear camera input. That's where you're going to plug that RCA cable into to retain the camera. And then from there, now your USB port. This is the port that it uses. This is the part that plugs into the back of the factory port that's on your dash. 
and this is the part that plugs in the back of the stereo. I can't use these on the aftermarket. So, if you'll notice, this plug is just like a plug on an MP3 player or a PS3 controller. So what I did is I went out and purchased just a basic uh, PS3 controller cable. I got this one at Walmart for like five bucks. Now it's six feet of cable, which I don't need six feet of cable, but I just wrapped it all up and then zip tied it off to the length that I needed it at. So this is going to plug in to the regular USB port that's on the back of the stereo. And then get down here and look. Okay. That's the USB port that's on the dash on the back side that has a female connection for the mini USB. So that's just going to plug into that. Then we got uh, you know, all your basic wiring. This, see if I can find it. Here we go. This cable right here comes out and it goes to this little box. This box is actually basically your speaker for your door chime, which also chimes for your turn signals as well. And that's the little lever for adjusting the volume on it. I've just got it zip tied. I've got it running up through here into the side and then coming down. I just have it zip tied here because trying to get it to mount anywhere behind the stereo, I have very had very limited room and I didn't want to be hitting it. So I just got it through here and then zip tied off to this little cable which is attaches to the four wheel drive control. So that just kind of keeps it stable without it bouncing around. Now this kit I got this from Best Buy. Now Best Buy supplying this, the one that comes from Best Buy does not have the antenna adapter cable. But if on Amazon you look for this same exact one, it does have the antenna adapter cable in it. Or at least that's what they advertise. Now I went to Best Buy and I price matched this off of Amazon, and I got this one for the same price, which is actually 30 bucks cheaper on Amazon. But this one didn't come with the antenna adapter, but the one on Amazon shows that it does. Whether it actually comes in it or not, I don't know 100% for sure if somebody has ever actually ordered that one, this particular one off of Amazon, and it does. You know, comment in the section below, you know, confirming that. But I don't know that for sure. If anybody else knows different, you know, let me know. So, I'm going to go ahead and start putting some of this plugged in. Oh, one more thing. There's a cable down here. This one right here is 3.5 millimeter jack that is actually for the steering wheel controls. It does not plug in anywhere on the vehicle. This plugs into the back of the stereo so that the stereo can read the steering wheel controls that are going to the interface. Not only does it have a 3.5 millimeter jack, but it also has a wire in here, which is this one right here. It's a blue and yellow wire. I've taped mine off because I don't need it. I just capped it off and then taped it to it because I'm using a Pioneer, but the blue and yellow wire is for specific stereos that you're putting in your vehicle. That one hardwires in, and it's actually just a remote wire, but it's blue and yellow instead of blue and white. That would hardwire, I'm assuming, into your remote wire for the back of the stereo, but instead, this one uses the 3.5 millimeter jack. Now, to retain those steering wheel controls to the stereo, that 3.5 millimeter jack 
in the instructions it says to plug it into the auxiliary in which would be right here but it will not work that way on this pioneer it actually has to be plugged into the wired remote input and then the steering wheel controls will work the good thing about this particular kit is that I already have a factory microphone built into the truck for the Bluetooth and the hands-free. The mic that comes with your Pioneer, you actually do not have to install that into the vehicle because the interface will pick up the signal for the microphone. So you actually do not have to plug that aftermarket microphone in for your stereo and then have to run it through the vehicle. That'll just save you a little bit. And it also has these red and white RCA cables to plug into the back of the stereo to retain your uh, XM audio. And those will actually just plug in to the front sound left and right. Not the subwoofer side, but the one marked F for the front. Right here, I've got my port plugged into the non-amplified factory audio because this vehicle doesn't have the built-in subwoofer. But if yours does, then you'll plug it into the amplified factory auto. This also has a port on it for updates. So that's an item that's actually sold separately. To do an update, you have to purchase... Uh, I'm assuming a little computer module or something to plug into there to update this interface. So, let me get some of this plugged in and let's show you how it's going to work. Well, as I was getting this dash, try to put it back together, kind of had to take it all back apart because on this back side, this particular stereo goes a little bit deeper than what my factory one does. So on this back side, I actually had to cut out a section right here in this back side. I don't know how well you can see it, considering the sun's all coming in. There we go, that's a little bit better. Yeah, I had to cut that section out in the back. And the piece that came out, I don't know what to do with it. See if I can't find it real quick. There it is. This is the piece I had to cut out. Because on the back of the stereo, it just goes a little bit deeper. Plus, it's got this little... I'm assuming that's what helps keep it cool. I don't even know what that part is or what it's called. But that's what was making contact, so I had to cut that out. So, I just thought I'd make sure to let you guys know that in case you're trying to get this put together and a stereo don't fit. Okay, so... Got the CD player up in the dash. It's mounted up. Now I got this uh, this mounting kit for the CD player from Walmart. Um, it's just you know just the basic installation kit. I know uh, Best Buy sells them as well, but if you notice this particular installation kit, the CD player kind of sits down in there a little further than what I would like. But if any of you get the installation kit through Best Buy or get a different installation kit for the doubled in for this type of vehicle and it actually makes it look better, uh, post a picture of it down in the comments. I wouldn't mind seeing it if it makes it look better. Shoot, then I'll go and, and buy that one and change it out just to make it look better in the dash. But uh, I got it all in here. It's all hooked up. We're going to... Uh, I'm going to start the truck. I don't want my battery going dead. And I'll show you the rear view camera. Make sure it works. Okay. Okay, rear view camera on. Okay. I'm going to put it in reverse, and there it is. 
as well as in the rearview mirror still. So it just mirrors that image. But that's saying this image may be reversed, but based on the rear view mirror, it's facing exactly the same way. So we're good. All right, vacuum park. Now the way I got it connected, I have to have the e-brake on for video, but I'm not gonna be doing any video right now. Of course we got radio. Okay, mute's all working. Steering wheel controls working. Going up, going down. Mutes it. Source. Track. Everything working. All the, let's see if you can see the buttons here. Volume on the back. Working. Track. That's actually presets. Now when I hit mute, it shows up minus ATT. I don't know what in the world that means. Guessing it has something to do with the volume. Track. What the? Okay. I wonder if I turn that off, if it'll still... Yep, yeah, it still shows up. Okay. Now, that's what I noticed before when I was messing with this. If I've got rear view camera on, it will pop up on its own every once in a while. So I just leave the rear view camera off and then it'll only come on whenever I put it in reverse. So everything's working on this. Uh, Bluetooth is connected. And here's something that I found out when I was testing it. Whenever I'd receive a call or make a call, the stereo was shutting off during the phone call. And I went in, checked my settings. I went in and reset, reattached the Bluetooth, unpaired it, repaired it. Now, my vehicle has factory Bluetooth as well. And I noticed that not only was it connecting to the stereo, but it was simultaneously connecting to the vehicle's Bluetooth as well. So once you install an aftermarket CD player in your truck, you do want to make sure that you unpair the vehicle's Bluetooth so that whenever you connect to the vehicle, you're only connecting to the stereo and not to the vehicle. I think that may have been my issue. Um, after once I paired it directly to the stereo and unpaired it to the truck, uh, it was working fine during calls. It wouldn't shut off. So I think that may have been my issue. So, but I think that's it as far as the installation for this. It's all simple, basic. Uh, there's where the cord plugged in for the USB. I think I got everything covered for this. Um, if there's something that I missed, something else that you needed to know, for this installation uh, I think I hopefully I covered everything if not you know post a question in the comment below I'll do the best to answer it if somebody else if there's something else that I missed or something that I misinterpreted on somebody else knows you know correct me on it if I'm wrong about something I won't mind one bit and uh, thanks that's it